Today we are talking about if Palantir stock will join the Magnificent 7 by 2030. Palantir Technologies is capturing significant attention and the excitement is well founded. The company which operates a software, artificial intelligence, and analytics platform for enterprises and governments has experienced rapid growth since its public debut in 2020. This growth has attracted a growing base of enthusiastic shareholders. Part of this enthusiasm stems from the company's unconventional CEO, who has introduced disruptive practices to an industry historically dominated by traditional approaches, particularly in government defense spending. The rapid growth has led some to speculate that Palantir could potentially join the ranks of the top technology stocks by 2030, potentially becoming part of the Magnificent Seven. To assess this possibility, a closer examination of Palantir's journey and performance is necessary. Founded in 2004, Palantir started as a big data and analytics software platform with a mission to provide innovative and modern software solutions to government agencies and the Department of Defense. At that time, many Silicon Valley firms were reluctant to engage in government-related work due to perceived political complexities. Palantir's willingness to collaborate with the government proved to be advantageous, tapping into a significant opportunity to modernize software and analytics platforms for the United States and its allies. Today, Palantir's government segment generates $1,270,000,000 in annual revenue. After establishing a foothold with government agencies, Palantir expanded its focus to include large commercial customers. The company now boasts 427 commercial customers, a significant increase from just 49 at the end of 2020. In recent years, Palantir has made substantial investments in its artificial intelligence platform to enhance its offerings for these major clients, while the intricacies of Palantir's artificial intelligence tools may be complex, their popularity among technology departments in both commercial companies and government agencies is evident. The total customer base has grown to 554, up from 139 at the end of 2020. This growing customer base is a testament to the value of Palantir's software platform and suggests the potential for continued global customer acquisitions, which could drive sustained revenue growth. In terms of financial performance, Palantir reported robust top-line results in the most recent quarter. Revenue grew by 21% year over year, reaching $634 million, largely driven by a 40% increase in United States commercial revenue. Additionally, the company increased its customer count by 40% year over year, indicating a strong foundation for future revenue expansion. Another promising aspect of Palantir's growth is its profitability. A few years ago, the company had an operating margin of negative 100%. Over the past 12 months, Months, however, it achieved a positive 8% margin, which continues to improve. With exceptionally high gross margins, Palantir is well positioned for healthy bottom line profitability as it matures. Despite the positive outlook, investors should temper their expectations regarding Palantir's potential to become a technology giant in the near term. Financially, the company remains relatively small. Over the past 12 months, Palantir generated $2,300,000,000 in revenue. Although revenue has grown at a rate of 30% since 2018, even if Palantir maintains this growth rate until 2030, it would likely reach $18 billion in annual revenue by that time. While impressive, this figure pales in comparison to the annual revenues of over $200 billion currently achieved by major technology firms like Alphabet, which reported $318 billion, and Microsoft, which reported $237 billion in sales over the past 12 months. Both of these companies also maintain strong gross margins, similar to to Palantir. In conclusion, Palantir has the potential to be a rewarding stock for long-term investors, provided it continues to grow revenue rapidly and generate healthy profits. While it may not reach the scale of today's technology giants by 2030, its trajectory suggests a promising future. 